So I'm gonna go ahead and get this charcuterie charcutin. Good morning guys, happy vlogmas day, day 12, my birthday is in 12 days when you're watching this, very exciting, um, but yeah, I have some really fun stuff going on today, Yara and I are having our friends over, so I'm actually going to be making a charcuterie board today, so our groceries just got delivered, so I thought I'd show you guys um, the charcut process. Um, and everything that I got for it and the good thing is too like we're only having like like six or seven people over but um, <laughs> If I have too much stuff for the charcuterie board I can save the non perishables for my Christmas Eve party. So that's good So a little charcut haul. Um, I actually bought pre-made guac because Wegmans babe. I got the Wegmans guac Oh, babe I think he has headphones on. All Vlogmas, he just has like headphones on the whole time because like <laughs> he can't play his stuff super loud because I'm always, always vlogging. But Yar loves the Wegmans guacamole. It is very good. Like the flavor is really, really bomb. So um, we got some guac. I got like guac and chips too, just cause it's like a staple. Best value, these chips here. Um, all right. I personally like Tostitos Hint of Lime, but I can't really have crunchy foods yet. So I grabbed grapes. Oh, I should have asked for a small bag of grapes. This is a lot of grapes and they're mostly decorative. I need to see, actually I need to check if I can eat grapes now. I've been eating like melon for fruit, like cantaloupe and seedless watermelon, but I need to see if I'm allowed to have grapes. Um, I also got pomegranate seeds, just like a small one. They're so decorative and they're really yummy. I don't think I could have these yet, but um, I'm actually almost at my one month post-op. Isn't that crazy that like it's already been almost a whole month? Um, so I think I'm gonna do a one month update and kind of share my first month journey in a couple days when it's been the four weeks. So um, for cheese, here's one I grabbed this mild gouda who else loves a good gouda my favorite's gouda do you guys remember that from she's the man um and then i also got this new york cheddar I'm just gonna slice these up and then we needed avocados for the house and then i also got some strawberries which i'm going to just slice up for the board we needed um some reduced fat Mexican cheese for the house. I got some thyme. I love kind of garnishing with thyme or sage, just some sort of, um, or mint, some sort of herb. It looks so pretty like throughout the charcuterie board. So I grabbed thyme. I got thyme this time. <laughs> and then I got this mixture of um, salami, salami sampler, anyone? Uh, because I can have some of this. Um, it has, oh, it's got three different kinds of salami, but some of them are even already folded nicely, which is exciting. So incorporate that on the board. Then we've got these classic bruschette toasts. These are such a favorite on charcuterie boards because they're like just little mini toasts. Like they're kind of thick, almost like a, a toasted bread, but like they're really crunchy. They're really good. And then I also got flatbread crisps, sea salt and olive oil. I like to have a few different kinds of uh, crackers, but again, it's good because if it's too many, I can save them. <laughs> and then I got also pita crackers. So those are the three crackers I got. I feel like, I feel like it's a good variety. Um, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, um, one more cracker. <laughs> Yarman's gonna be very excited. Plantain toasted corn crackers. He's gonna love this. Um, he loves plantains. I love plantains, so. I've never had these before. It sounds really good. So, um, another cheese. I got one of these little garlic and herbs um, from Bors Borson. Do I love this kind of cheese? Like, mm. 
so bomb. Um, we needed more salsa for the house. This is my favorite salsa, peach and mango salsa from Wegmans. Oh, wow. This is really big. <laughs> this looked very small on Instacart. Um, look at this giant jam. Oh my God. It looked so small. Uh, I just got like a fruit spread, raspberry, strawberry, blackberry. <laughs> you know, goes well on charcuterie boards. And then I got these petite little pickles. Uh, for the board, we needed more black pepper. This is very small. Why oh, that's so teeny? And then I also like to incorporate a couple sweet things um, as well. So I got these dark chocolate peppermint candy cane covered pretzels, which I'm pretty sure I had these last year on Christmas Eve, right? For that party. Oh, and then it's just trash bags. So that's actually everything. That's everything for the charcuterie board. Um, I will take you guys along as we create it because I just, it's so, there's so much fun to make. <laughs> like I truly enjoy making charcuterie boards. Okay, so good morning. I slept so good last night. Sorry, last night I didn't even end the vlog properly. I was so tired, like all that driving. And for some reason getting my hair done makes me so tired and I slept really bad, but I got a nice, nice long sleep last night and I'm feeling good, so. Good morning. Hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. All right, I'll check in with you guys later. Wow, it is downpouring rain. If only it was snow. <laughs> Hair is up in an unattractive ponytail, which means it's time to clean. Okay, you guys, very excited. It is time to assemble the hot cocoa bar that I have been talking about. I'm so hyped, so. I thought we could do a little time lapse while I set it up. So everything I got on Amazon, it will all be linked. So I got this black tray. Then I grabbed this set of containers. I already went ahead and washed everything. But it was like the perfect amount. I don't know if I'm gonna use this really tall one. <laughs> like I might just use these four. Then I, I think I already showed you guys in a vlog actually. I got skinny syrups, holiday flavors. I got protein hot chocolate. I got sugar-free peppermints that I'm gonna crush up for toppings. And I also got these um, low sugar chocolate chips. I love Lily's chocolate chips. No sugar added. These are the peppermint flavor, another great little topping idea. And then I got this really cute like candy cane peppermint bead garland for decoration. And lastly, I grabbed a milk frother with a stand because the protein hot chocolate can get a little clumpy and I read that using a milk frother really helps it like get super smooth. So bariatric friendly hot cocoa bar. Let's do it. Oh, and I also already washed these. I got these little dispensers with pumps for the syrups. And then for everything, I got this on Amazon too. Um, little chalkboard labels that you can write on. So I think it's gonna be super cute. I got
Okay, so I moved it over here. How cute! It's definitely not as pretty as other people's, but I love it. That was from Walmart, that was from Walmart, and then all this was Amazon. So we've got our syrups, milk frother, peppermint chips, crushed candy canes, quote unquote sugar free mints, and protein hot cocoa. So cute, let me know what you guys think. All right, I have just been cleaning and getting ready for our friends to come over. So they'll be here in about an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then we will do the charcuterie board. So our friends are headed over. They'll be here in about 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this charcuterie charcutin'. 